Hey guys, it's Ice here. God, I have to get used to that name, like I said. I think I mentioned this in the reaction before, but anyways, this is a Boogie Vox song cover featured Ka Mori Kali, and I'm like, oh, well, she can get out of her, I guess, not being a gen mate, I guess. I hope she didn't have to pull too many strings for this, but who knows? I don't really know. Probably, like, kind of interesting to see, other than, like, I think, other than, like, the Crunchyroll song she did for... It's just reconnect. This is like one of those weird ones that like it's out of Hollow Live, Hollow Live production in my book or Hollow production because she has done Rika, Hollow Stars. That's a chill song too. I just don't understand anything from anything from Rika. It kind of sucks. But anyways, Spooky Vox featured Kali Mori. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Sorry. Anyways, MV Crown the cover. I don't really like doing covers, but. If it, like I said, if it's Cali, I know Cali will spice it up a bit, like how King has a little bit of more spice to it, because it's like that cover for King from Cali and Gura, it's because like it's more like aimed towards them, because you know Empress of the Sea, um, wait, ruler of the Sea, Empress of Death, because that Cali added that lyric in. That's one thing I like about Cali's covers, because she does mix her own lyrics. Oh God, I got one. I got a pack of these. I just hate that these still have to you have to still get this out like this little cover like what's the point of this especially if i bought a pack i'm not sure if you can see it there's like a yellow thing there that's literally a 12 pack of these and then they're almost out because literally like fam if i'm not drinking water why else what else would i be drinking of course i have geo fuel right in front of me but uh, that kind of hurts when i literally have anyways other than me ranting i don't know what crown this is i never heard of the original but let's hope there's some little bit of some Cali spice in here as well with the original vocals, which I think is a duo group by the thumbnail. I think so. Let's hop into it because I think they also did a remix of um, Excuse Me, Can You Please Rest in Peace? I think, but I don't remember because it's been forever. Anyways, let's hop right into it. And that did not play. Okay. Times Square, love it. Okay, first thing I gotta say that his accent is so thick on those it's hard for me to understand him but he, I like he's rushing through this and I'm like damn I don't know their names for boogie vox so the guy and there's a girl I'm pretty sure See, like, I don't know if this is part of the original, but just hearing Kali's voice just makes it beautiful to me. Oh, like, could I really see my future on that billboard sign? I'm like, that's old Times Square dream. Now I understand why it's in Times Square. Because if you guys didn't see the detail where um, the bottom part said Boogie Vox and the top one said had a Cali Maurice logo. And I'm like, that's dope. Oh, my God. Also, knowing where she came from, you know, you guys probably know her person old persona current like second persona that she uses from time to time on twitter you would never guess it but like at the same time think about times square i feel like ina 
I know a bunch of Twitch streamers because Twitch has, has been making intros for or ads for streamers on Times Square. But seeing Ina for her birthday get the, a Times Square sign is just, just out of my. This is so out of place for me, and I'm like Ina all of a sudden just showing up in Times Square for her birthday. It's just interesting because that's like a 45. K 50k billboard and I'm like how did you man manage this? I'm not sure for the time slot it was that much, but it's just a what the fuck to me that somebody the fans did that and I'm like how why but amazing craziness but at the same time Callie being successful of course she isn't her old persona but at the same time like different uh, an opportunity showed up for her and she took it. Or she, you know, did it for jokes and just became Callie. And the what I think a friend told me about this because it was it works for her like persona as well because they're just both mixed into the like the underworld because Callie Mori is beautifully voiced death and that's just spicy for me. I love that. Anyways, oh, okay. Like I'm always gonna sin for Callie. I'm always gonna point out Callie shit because. You know, gotta love, love it. Anyway, so we got the guy. Then we got Callie. Always, always refreshing to have some new lyrics, especially for current Callie Mori. I haven't heard that much of it. I think she like only two APs in. I'm really hoping for more. All right, let's continue. Because it's in Japanese below, but I've tripped and fallen and let countless co coins and tears fall away. So this is this is like, oh, I never imagined to be here type. I never imagined to be here, but here I am type of song, and and I'm just like, yeah, life has a crazy way of putting putting yourself somewhere you shouldn't be. Like, I've been doing YouTube for a decade under different names, and that's probably not the way I'm supposed to be doing it, but. Like, I'm realizing, oh, streaming makes more sense for like keeping content up to date, and I can talk to you guys even though I haven't been streaming that much. Also, reset them. I reset it in my stream so I can do that again because you know, different name going with ice instead of two five eight. Even though that's still gonna be hidden somewhere in like the games I play, like Forza Horizon having a license plate two five eight or GTA F Online where I have all the cars saying two five eight on the back unless they're specifically themed to something. Oh my god, dude, imagine, I don't, I doubt I, will, I would ever hit it big on YouTube, even though I love doing this type of content, I would love to talk about more shit, especially if the, I was streaming right now, I would love to do more shit if I was streaming right now, and you know, upload that to the main channel, edit it down, have a funny moments, boom, highlight stuff like that, but you know, YouTube streaming, starting from the bottom as a YouTube streamer is kind of interesting, and that's the route I'm taking, this channel is meant to be more easy content for me. I'm not sure if this is easy at the end of the day, but hopefully one day I would love to be in this position. Probably won't. You guys who subscribe, I can, you know, get for content that is meant to be for evergreen content. Let's say if somebody's new to these, like Boogie Vox, I don't know Boogie Vox, except for like two times they showed up when I entered the VTuber community. I'm like, interesting. Interesting. Like, I know they both, the, this pair, can go ham. I know that just by the sight glimpses, and especially of this one. I'm talking too much. Let's just get back into it. <laughs> also, the art for this. Also, I realized are they both zombies? Like the girl has um her legs stitched up. The guy has his, like, other face stitched up. It's kind of interesting. And, you know, Caddy's death, so she's just there. Oh, wait. Wait, I should have been reading that. Okay. But I just kept running. Okay, throw away the tears on the coins, but I just kept running. I'm going to say the coins are meant to be... Um... What's it called? Your your wishes. Like, you throw... You're making a wish at a fountain. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that's what... The coins represent in this thing, English lyrics. But I just kept running. So now I'll shout. But now I'll shout. I'm happy, dude.
you know, it's hard for somebody to say that. I have everything I need, everything I want, but there's still, like, that emptiness, you know? Still the emptiness. Like, YouTube is fun and all, but there's still an empty side of it. Like, I wish I had that mentality for that. Like, this song tells me, like, oh, I worked hard to be where I'm at type of shit. But at the same time, I'm not really that happy. For Personally, for me, I'm not that happy. But, you know, I hate when people just tell you, oh, you have everything. I'm like, yes. But does that mean I'm happy? No. The fuck? I hate when people say that. Anyways, just personal prejudice and all that. Let's get back into it. Yo, Cali. Oh, yeah. Don't understand anything else. Hey, yo, Cali. I come a long way. Still making moves from the views we knew from back in the day. Senpai. Oh. I'm intrigued if they had hi if they have history together. I mean, because calling them Senpai. I know in, I think in her tweet, they ca she called them Sensei. I'm intrigued if they have history together. Above CDs I couldn't sell, still lie awake in my bed. Life is what you make. So instead, that hurts me because if she had CDs on her old sh old shit, like th there's still fans there that started from that side of things, and I'm new and I would love to have those CDs. Even though I don't have her, my speakers don't work in my car. I have her second EP somewhere in this room, misplaced it somewhere. I annoyed. I'm annoyed that about that. I have her Cali's birthday goods showing up, hopefully the 30th, because they were supposed to show up today, because it got delayed. I'm annoyed at that, but, like, above CDs, I couldn't sell. Like, we, this is just her past, and I love it. Wait. Wait, wait. See, like, this is, like, okay. Far as this Reaper can tell, I was investing in me. Penniless sleeping in hell, that was a test for my being. Oh, yeah, man. Like, if you didn't build that up, she wouldn't be here. And that's, like, one reason why I like about come-up stories. Like, like the moment you subscribe to a YouTube channel, well, since we're on YouTube, let's talk about YouTube stuff. The moment you subscribe to a YouTube channel and you watch that creator grow to, like, 100K, 500K, to 1 million, you are proud of that creator because you know they worked hard for that shit. And that's why every time you see a 1 million video, you might cry or you are ecstatic about it. But my god, it's been forever since I've fucking <laughs> experienced that. You know, different algorithm, different things going on. Seeing this dream brought to life right before me. Song, song that restored me, the early mornings, unsure things. Yeah, but now look at your audience, Cali. It's great. They all led to your Mori. Uh, basically, her comment story led to the group. A great Reaper, honestly. Ah, uh, this is just this is making me gush because I yes, I wasn't there to experience the beginnings of what was firstly gonna be Callie. Like I was there for Gura a little bit when she was on her rise for a little bit for Gura, but for Callie, I had no clue. Always stay roaring into mics and facing all that comes. What was that last part? Like, I'm analyzing Callie's because, like, yes, I love Callie. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I did not know. I did not catch the last part. Still gonna pour my lifeblood into this. So death be. So death can be happy. We'll be happy. Still the same. Oh, dude. It's a different character, but you know, she's still her, still her old music at the end of the day, still her image, just from afar, right? We're still the same old vagabonds from af afar. Wait, what? Okay, that, okay, that was a little bit fast. Hello. 
it, but in the name of refraining from dragon on, think fast. So victory? Okay, I am literally just repeating these lines, but I'm trying to see if there's anything behind it, because I know the come up on this. Fuck, man, I hate that I'm double clicking on. The victory marches on, so I'll tag along beyond this mic pass. Ooh. I feel like she's just gonna, like, that tells me she's gonna watch Givox grow and see where they go. I wish I could understand this. Diamond says, anyone says, myself, stream. This is my will. Taking Saris and goodbyes as scars as I blaze my game trail. Taking Saris and goodbyes as scars as I blaze my game trail. And we've got it right in our hands. We've got it right in our hands. I'm gonna sing here and now. I didn't type my coins and tears. Now I'll shout. I'm happy, right? I'm happy, yeah. I'm gonna wait till this instrumental stops. See, like, this ending just shows both of them all over the billboards compared to the beginning. Because it was just the main... The main pillar right there. Lyrics by Boogie Vox and Callie, yeah. Because I know Callie... Like I said, Callie has her own flavor to it, and that's just her past. And my god... Like... Oh, just, it's crazy once you know their past. It's kind of like... The moment you know some of their past, you're just like, God damn, you know they worked hard to be here. And that's one thing I hate, I guess, in the beginning of this, because some people hated, like, whole life English, just because, you know, the marketing behind it. And some of them just didn't understand why these girls got one million, like, let's say, girl, uh, two million, like, in two months in. People were annoyed by that, and I'm like, yes, at the same time, they're talents they already have the talent they prove to have the talent for this that's why they got recruited into the company because they have the talent and it made waves from hate to love from whatever side of the spectrum they have the talent boogie vox i wish i understood the guy more the girl had english lyrics above so that worked out for me i really wish you know i'm not sure what boogie vox is audience or target audiences like i'm here for Callie. she did english lyrics because you know that's what well if english is about because you know that's her language but she does spice it in with some japanese here and there oh my god that just <sighs> come up stories man come up story like i'm not sure what the original song's about but i'm assuming here the original author for this other than the modified lyrics and instrumental for this it's more like, oh, I've made it where I'm at. I got a crown now. It's like when when T-Pain has the Twitch intro. Ah, I'm going to play it here if you guys don't know, but ah, I'm blinking out on it. And I am T-Pain, you know the OG. So when you think of legends, I am one of those kings. Oh, please, get on both. I'm happy, but this song got me a little bit emotional once I started reading into it. Because it's like, oh. I've made it my way here. I have a crown now. And I'm not sure what... I'm not sure if, like, this will be, like, the end song for, like, all songs for the artists who did this. Or it would be, you know... I realized I got a crown now.
and I can just reduce what I want, and some will, some will dig it, some won't dig it. That's how I feel about it. The only way guys interpretation was of this, of course, sometimes I just repeated the lyrics just so I, my brain can process it, see what I can take from it. I'm not a lyricist, but I do love, I'm not an analyzer, but I do love the lyrics from here and there. You know, thinking about, you know, Cali goods and all that. <sighs> October 30th, Muna with some KDA with Cali, Renee, and Risu. That's going to be, mm, that's going to be beautiful, kid. It's... It's the baddest, and I love that KDA song. Anyways, stay tuned for that reaction. Subscribe, like, do whatever you guys do. Comment what you thought of the song. Comment what you were feeling if you hated my reaction, or, you know, if you think it was the same or somewhat the same, because just me, like, looking into Callie's past just makes me, like, oh, have a little heartstrings for that. Also, like, since it's Callie, I got... Girl and Kiara in my brain. Same thing with Amelia. Still don't know anything about Ina from her past life, but you can. It's interesting to see where they're at now in my book. It's interesting to see that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, listening to what you guys do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.